hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? That's way too high No way! I think we have a winner. I'm not gonna touch the camera. If you guys saw, let me just literally film what you guys are sitting on. Maybe I'll take a picture. You guys would literally be like, what in the world? But that's what's gonna work for today. And I don't have much of a choice. The hair is literally just, I really cannot figure out what I wanna do with my hair. Like I can't, I need volume, that's my problem. So I'm like, let me dice in my um, bangs and it'll give me some volume because I saw it on Juju Haven, I think is her Instagram name. And it looks so good. She has like actual curtain bangs that are like short, short. <sighs> so it only looks good tucked behind. I feel like I'm having like a crisis moment. I'm not really like sure. I kind of feel like it looks better over here. So if I constantly touching my hair, which I already am, just ignore it. I can't, I don't know what to do with it. I'm, I gave up on it. Anyway, cheers. That's how we need to start the video. Actually, can you even see me if I sit down in this? No, you probably can't. Hang on guys. That's good, I hope. Um, let me show y'all a close up of my makeup before we get into the video. So on my eyelids, I was actually inspired by Jenna Palak's Rare Beauty um, Friendsgiving look. She did this all over her eyelid and it looked really pretty. And I actually have a lot of Rare Beauty's products. So I went ahead and tried it. I think it would have looked better if I, like I wish I didn't do this little brown eyeliner moment. I wish it, would, I wish it was just the sparkles. Um, I think it would have looked more elegant and just simple. But, if you do buy this, it's called um, the trusty one or into myself, into myself, something myself from Rare Beauty. It's a really pretty palette. Um, and it would be great for your Christmas list or your stocking. Anyways, I still feel like this is so dang far. I will literally never, ever underestimate a good YouTuber because do you know how time consuming, tedious, and almost painful it is to get the right shot sometimes? Also, this fit I got from, it's extremely short. I got it in London, which the Zara's in London, or in Europe, England, blow away the Zara's in the States. I swear, they're so much better. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bree. Um, for this video, I had, I wanna do what everyone, every other basic YouTuber is doing and make a Christmas wish list video. I just thought it'd be fun. It also helps me to make mine as well as like things that I'm interested in for birthdays or just for the year, like ideas of things that are on my mind and maybe in a couple months when I look back, let's say like I don't get them, which is totally okay. I could change my mind, but like that just happened with something that I thought I wanted and I had it like in my cart and I went back in a couple of weeks and I was like, okay, this is so ugly. Why did I ever decide that I wanted this? So let me put my wine down. I have not had like a good glass of wine in months. Couldn't even tell you the last time. Okay, if you're new here, Please subscribe and join the, we gotta think of a name. Like what kind of name should we give this? Like what kind of name should my community be? I don't know. Give me some ideas in the comments. Does anyone's nose, like the inside of their nose get so dang itchy after they do their makeup or just me? It's probably just me. Okay, I think I'm finally situated. Like getting ready for this video to film was literally so freaking just frustrating. So I'm not gonna let that ruin my mood. 
but it was just a lot of work. Let's put it that way. First off, I would like to say that this year, as I get older, like I really don't want anything specific. So it's hard to think of things, even just for like my birthday or when people ask me like what things I want or what things I'm wishing for. I really never have an answer because if I want something myself, I'll work for it or save up for it and go get it. And by the time like it comes to when people are asking me to get things. I just don't have any ideas. So anyway, this year though, I really want to pay it forward. And I think just the only gift of the season, it sounds so cheesy, but things are cheesy because they're true. Um, I just want to spend time with my family and be together. But honestly, I'm, this is my wish list. But if I don't go get them myself, I'm not really asking for them. I'm just asking for health, health wellness, wellness and, and a good, a good 2022. 2022. And just peace, comfort, and joy. I'm so lucky for my health in 2021 and 2020 have been some of the hardest years of people's lives and I just wanna give back. But without further ado, let's get into it. The number one thing on my list, I don't know, do I start with stockings, stocking stuffers? Um, in general, I guess I, I'll put pictures of like what everything looks like as well. I'll start with stockings, stocking, 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 stocking stuffers and then we'll go into like, I guess, gift gifts. But I was at Sephora the other day and their beauty makes mini package of her fave. It's literally called Selena's fave. And it has, um, like it's $30 and it's the matte lip cream, a liquid blush, which is my favorite color. I have that in like, not the mini, but the actual size, the luminizer, and then the mascara, which I've heard is really good. So I actually, might ask for the mascara on my own list, but I think the minis is a really good gift for a stocking. I just bought her illuminating primer. I don't know if you can really tell, but I've never used a primer before, but I did not know this about Sephora. I guess like I was looking at this highlighter and it's kind of, or a primer and it has like a highlight in it. And I looked at the worker next to me and I was like, um, what if it looks like I'm coming home from the moon when I film this and or when I use this She's like just bring it back like you can get a full refund if you don't like it within 30 days in proof of purchase Or you can exchange it for a gift card or store credit um, Without like if it's past the 30 days and I was like, are you serious? I never knew that was Sephora's policy Maybe that's common sense to everyone else, but me not so sure Anyway, let's keep moving on. So I think a really good stocking stuffer is gift cards. Uber is like such a good stocking stuffer um, because it's not like a food gift card that gets lost in the mix of like your wallet and then you find it 10 years later. You will definitely use an Uber gift card and I think that's a great gift. Makeup products or skincare products like last year on my Christmas list was all skincare. That's all I asked for because that stuff is really expensive. So I think just like health and beauty products is a great stocking stuffer. I just bought the native, um, it's the orange flavor deodorant. And I actually have noticed that I smell a lot worse, but I used to use Old Spice and it's so toxic for you. I learned that, learned that on the Skinny Confidential podcast. So I'm trying to just be more aware of what I'm using and putting in my body. And that definitely was really good for you. Obviously I smell worse right now because my, I've only used it for like a week or two. So my body's definitely still getting used to it, but hopefully it'll be better. It better be better by the time um, my body does eventually warm up to that. And my favorite beauty products right now are anything Rare Beauty. I'm not kidding. I've never been more obsessed with a brand. Um, between Rare and Ilia, I don't know if I'll ever switch to anything else. Truly so incredible. Benefit Palmade, that's a great eyebrow gift for stocking stuffer. Any of Selena's highlighters from Rare or blushes, like the color Joy is really, really good. It's really pigmented. It goes a long way. Um, Ilia Skin Tint, great stocking stuffer. If you're a male, I'm trying to think of like good stocking stuffers. Honestly, males, I think just gift cards or like gas gift cards or female too, that's a great gift. Okay, let's move on. Any type of lipsticks, socks, underwear, like all of those essential things are so expensive. So maybe like some sports bras that could definitely fit in a stocking. Okay, now let's move on to my gift. Like I have some ideas of things that I want to give and some things that I would like on my list. So I guess let's start with my list. Um, this sounds so lame and I can definitely like see that I'm aging 
in my wish list, but I'm obsessed with puzzles. I was obsessed with puzzles during quarantine and I think it's just something so good to take your brain off of like whatever you're doing. It gives your brain a break. It gives your brain anything that makes your brain like work or think on something different than like either creatively, work, personal life. It just takes all the thoughts away and gets your brain like I don't, I just, I hate when I do that. I hate when I wipe my face. I don't think very math-like, if that makes sense, in what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And so any like Sudoku or anything that just gets my brain working in a different way than it's used to, I think is just really good for you and a break from reality. So I have puzzles and like sketchbooks on my list just because why not? Okay, so the number one thing on the top of my list is an iPad case, like the actual Mac, the one from Apple. Um, I recently got an iPad in like, the summer and I really don't know how to use it well. To be honest, I don't know if it's a necessary purchase. Like, I think I just don't know how to use an iPad well and use all the features well, but it's definitely good for someone who was like really, really tech savvy. I'm personally not. The reason I got it is because my MacBook is a 15 inch. It's from 2017. It's kind of older, which isn't even that old for a Mac. They last like eight to 10 years. However, carrying it up and down, I do school remotely and I work remotely and sometimes I'll work in different parts of the house depending on like where other people are or where it's cold, noisy, where the dog is. So I've got the iPad so that I didn't need to carry my laptop around, but I, I still do. I also like got the one that was like in the $500 range, which is not too pricey for an iPad. And so I got that and then the pencil was like 10 times, it was like a hundred and something dollars. And then the case, the like actual Apple case is like $180 on top of that. So hopefully I learn to use it better, but I just, it's $500 and then you buy all these things and it becomes like ungodly expensive. It's cause it has the mouse like trackpad on it. The case I have now is like a harder case and it has a keyboard, but I always touch where there would be a trackpad and there's not. And it was like $30 off of Amazon. So I'm thinking that would just be more convenient for the type of use that I'm using it for. So that's the two with that. Okay, my footage is already 13 minutes. I cannot for the life of me make a vlog that's less than 20 minutes, so I'm really working on it. Oh, maybe this is a stocking stuffer, but I really want the Skinny Confidential Ice Roller and Face Oil with the little sleeping bag pouch. I go back and forth with ice rollers, but I have been obsessed with skincare lately, and you can actually really tell the difference in my skin. I just feel like I've been glowing a little differently lately, but I think it's because I've been chugging water and actually taking care of it. Right now, it's going through a rough week. Okay, I've been influenced by Instagram, but I really think this would be a game changer. Um, the Hatch Sleep Clock, that's like, it's like a $150 <laughs> clock, but I currently sleep with a sound machine. It's just the one, there's with the D. I'll put a picture here, and it's great. It's like 20 or $30 or something from Amazon, and it's a total game changer for me. Like when my sister and I slept together over winter break last year, she hated it and couldn't sleep. So it's definitely not for everyone. I'll also put a picture of this. I also sleep with that and I sleep with this Apple music like playlist thing. And I think that's a total game changer, but I think it could be personal preference. Um, it's like just very calming Zen sound. So I like falling asleep with both, but I would like to start not falling asleep with my phone in my room and charge that in the bathroom. The only thing I have to look into is, I should have done it before, but I think the hatch is controlled with your phone through an app. I don't want to sleep with my phone in my room, so I'll have to figure that situation out. But like, I have a iPod, it's an old iPhone, but it's just used as an iPod and to like film other stuff with right now. So I think I could definitely download it on that. Like I'm not gonna go on Instagram and TikTok and all those things on that phone, so I guess I could do that. But I think that would be a really good gift because once again, it's just something I would personally not spend the money on. Okay, the next thing I have on my list is the, a rug for my room. I'm in the process of like trying to redo certain parts of my room and those things are expensive, but like that's also a really weird gift. I'm obsessed with Verb, any Verb products for like, it's a hair thing, but I use the ghost oil, I think it's called. I'll put a picture here. I use that after I get in the shower and I really like it or after I get out of the shower to brush my hair. If I like the oil, I would probably like the shampoo and conditioner in like the big versions of it. I also put the Day, which is Amber Filler Up's um, brand of her like 60 ounce, I think, or 62 ounce or 38 ounces, like the big versions of shampoo and conditioner on my list because 
Shampoo and conditioner, like nice shampoo and conditioner, nice shampoo and conditioner. Oh my gosh, am I hammered already? Anyway, it's just ungodly expensive. So I thought that that would be a great, even stocking stuffer or gift to ask for because it's really pricey. And I literally use um, Pantene or like really cheap stuff right now, which is not good. I need to find that. I'll put a picture of the product here. But if you go and listen to Lauren Bostic and this guy's who created this brand, I think his name is Jason something. He created, he used to be a hairstylist, like Miley Cyrus's hairstylist and stuff. And so I was listening to this podcast and I literally was like, I'm damaging my hair so bad right now. So right now I'm in the process of trying to wash it every seven days. Right now we're doing two days a week, working up to the seven days because I can't just go like boom, boom. That's just not going to work. And it's like a salt serum that I, is really, really good for your hair. You just have to listen to the podcast. I can give thee a good gift. And anything that that brand, I will literally buy. Um, especially if he was a hairstylist. Like it's definitely someone I can know and trust and not just like an Instagram ad, I guess. Even though I definitely can be influenced by those. So I was at Lululemon the other day and they have like these mini, mini backpacks and they have like a really solid keychain on it uh like a hook like almost it looks like a rock climbing hook on it and it's really sturdy and durable and right now i'm using i have like a little louis vuitton like mini key thing honestly i just thought what i just think that the lulu one is way more durable plus if i go out i hate carrying sometimes a purse with me even though i almost always do but i'm like that would fit like a little powder to prevent the oil it would per, um it would fit like a lipstick it would fit credit card it would fit my license. It would fit like everything it needed to. And if I was ever wearing jeans going out, I could just belt it to the thing. I don't really care how stupid I look, but I thought it was cute and convenient. I've been really wanting like some walking weights to walk the dog with, um, to put on my wrists. And I want like the this brand of them. And those are also pricey. So I thought it would be a good gift because I definitely use them. I think I want to ask for a beauty like skincare fridge to put like eye patches in and a bunch of my serums in because once again, I said I'm obsessed with skincare. However, I'm trying to be really strategic about it because I don't know when I plan on moving out, but like I don't want a bunch of junk and I know that isn't junk. I tend to like create a lot of junk in my life and I just don't need any more. So it have to be like a really elegant, nice one that's not, well, actually I got my friend one for Christmas or her birthday like a couple years ago. It is from Walmart. It was, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't, too expensive and it was like pretty nice so i would honestly order that one for myself i almost think it'd be nice like if i ever build my own house to like build a skincare fridge like into the cabinets that would be dope um, the last thing on my list that i have is the uh, north face gloves they're like fuzzy i have the pink ones right now but they show so much dirt and i think they're 58 dollars, 68 dollars. anyway but to keep in your car to like hold when the when it's cold is so game change such a game changer as well so like i think it would be good to have two pairs and i've been trying to get back into running lately outside and it's uh i'm in the chicago suburbs so it's definitely not warm out there i also have some gift ideas for some family members number one is okay i think i saw this on tk's taylor king's YouTube channel and her editor gifted her this like throw blanket and it's not that bad of a price and you can literally style it and personalize it however you want. I think it's a great hostess gift, Christmas gift, sister gift for her, whoever you're getting a gift for. I think it looks, it could even be good for like a baby. I am obsessed with my Lululemon satchel. I've used it so much this year, except I need to email them because I need to exchange it because the zipper is uh, rusting it's not even a year old so I'm like yeah that's not gonna fly so I'm gonna go in and exchange mine but they made they came out with like a furry one and um, I think my mom would really like it because she actually told me that she wanted to borrow mine for like some of the Penn State games and I was like yeah go for it but you know they're like not that pricey if you ever like want to get your own so I think I'm gonna get her that for Christmas she doesn't watch my YouTube channel, she probably never will. So it's okay, She's just, just don't tell her if you know her. However, somewhat, my cousin swiped up on my story of like my, I posted on Instagram and I tagged them and I was like, uh, this is unacceptable. Um, and she was like, aloe for life. So this there's this aloe one that I'm looking at and I don't know if that one would be better or the Lulu one. This The aloe one definitely has a lot more pockets, but it's also a pricier item. 
Um, my mom has a really nice like designer satchel that she'll use to like go on walks with the dog and stuff. And I'm like, mom, that is not what that satchel is used for. That satchel is used for like going out and like trying to like dress up in style while not for walking the dog and going hiking. But you do you. Some other things that I think would be cute is, okay, I guess I screenshotted this for myself. Is this furry aloe bag? I think it's adorable. Don't know what I'd use it for. So I definitely am not putting it on my list, but it is cute. There's a bunch of these cool like aloe gym bags if you're into that that I screenshotted. For my dad personally, so my dad is deaf and he takes a lot of work calls from like these headphones, but the one earmuff like constantly falls out that he has to like strategically put back together. So I was telling my mom that Apple like actual max like headphones would be such a good gift for him and he would use them so much so i'm almost tempted to like buy them myself for him but at the same time i'm like uh yeah maybe my whole family goes in on it because it's really pricey but i know he would use those and be shocked at how comfortable and just incredible they are so i would like to get him that as a gift my brother I was talking to my guy friends and I was asking them like if they would ever use this product, but it's like a remote controller that you put into your phone. I don't know what kind of games like males play on their phones. And I don't know if he would use that, but I thought that might be a good gift, but he's actually really into like fashion and clothes now. Um, so I'm thinking like a nice pair of Jordans or shoes. That's the other thing I really want to put on my list is I got a pair of like really cool Nikes last year, but I don't know how to style them with jeans and like those specific ones. So I might want like a pair of these or a pair of these. Can't decide on which ones. Honestly, I'd be happy with either. Maybe like, she's probably watching this. Brittany, comment down below if you're watching this. Um, okay, then the other thing, I, I made a couple like TikTok gift guides. So let me pull those up because I really love a nice lipstick or a lip product, but... Oh, wait. Okay, I made this TikTok of boots and I can't believe I forgot to put it in here, but this pair of boots, I think they are so freaking cute. So I probably will add those to my list. I'm just like watching my own TikToks to get like gift guidance about. Oh, the um, Summer Fridays like triple lip combo kit. Great gift. Great product. Any of the, I'm so gonna butcher it, but the Laneige, Laneige um, lip thing, set it's like the sleeping mask one they come in like a variety pack too you can get them on and they've made them to where like you don't have to touch it but i will say the jar that comes with the amazing pr marketing brand i don't know how i would describe that but it, so the fact that you can go in and like paint what you're gonna put on your lips is just incredible because i hate like i will never take like vaseline my lips and then wipe it on my clothes that gives me such that makes the hairs on my back stand up any of Dior's lip products, especially their like glossing. I've really heard a lot about the Lifter um, by Maybelline. So I might just ask for that in like the color gloss because sometimes I don't want a color. Okay, it's the Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil Obsessed. And I'm even more obsessed with the uh, Reviving Balm. It's almost gone. I literally have to rebuy it. And then the Fenty Beauty glass slipper one her stuff is like so thick and moisturizing which sounds like disgusting but it's true that's really all i can think of starbucks gift cards that's an amazing gift that is really all that's at the top of my head i also thought about this okay okay wait i found some more of course i saw these on sarah michelle swan's instagram if you don't follow her i think her and her husband are like the hottest couple on earth the cloud nova right white pearl combination shoes are so adorable and they're like basic but i haven't really seen much of them slash a color but they're sold out everywhere so good luck getting them i've always wanted the apl shoes but i went to nordstrom's in sometime in the summer and i like went to get them and they were like 200 dollars. and i was like um hookahs and like any other gym shoe brand is not even that expensive like that's less than the cloud nova ones why are these so pricey Maybe they're worth it. I don't know. I thought they'd just be nice gym shoe to walk the dog in because you don't have to necessarily like tie them. This top access, access Lululemon kit looks fantastic as well. I think that would be a really good gift. Last year for Christmas, I got my sister like a really nice set of toiletry stuff. 
It was like a, it was the base brand, which is Shea Mitchell's brand, Shane Mitchell's bag line or whatever. And she uses them all the time. So I think that's a great gift too. I can't decide if I think this Abercrombie jacket is cute or not. That might be a good idea. Okay, Brie, let's wrap this up. I think, I think that's it. I really think that is all I had on my wish list. But if you guys have any questions about any of the specific products, I'll try and link them all below in the description. But if I can't find it, if you can't find anything in the description or I don't, DM me on my Instagram and I'd be happy to give it to you. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you the best holiday season. If you're watching this, by the time this goes up, it'll be the day before Thanksgiving. So I hope you have the best Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have the best Thursday, Wednesday, th Thursday, Thursday. And other than that, I haven't decided if I'm doing Vlogmas. There will be a full announcement if I decide to do so or not. It's a big commitment, but it could be a fun commitment. So I have some exciting updates, um, life updates, I guess, coming up. I'm just, I'm just whizzing life. I'm just living. I really think this is hitting me after three sips. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe down below. Let me know that you liked it and all the things and happy holidays. <laughs>